Dan. Hi, Dr. Michael DiMattina, founder and medical director of Dominion Fertility in Arlington, Virginia. All the time doctors ask me, Michael, should I be using letrozole or clomid for my patients for ovulation induction? Here's the answer. The American Society of Reproductive Medicine for many years now suggests that clomid should be second tier, not first tier. The first tier should be letrozole. Why is that? Well, you use the drug just like you do for your patients with clomid, but the doses are a little bit different. For letrozole, you want to start with 2.5 milligrams from cycle days 5 through 9, or if you think the patient is resistant to the drug or needs a higher dose, you may use 5 milligrams every day from day 5 through 9. If you want to recruit more eggs, a little trick of the trade, back her up to day 4. Use it day 4 through 8. So the dose for letrozole is 2.5 to 5 milligrams per day, 5 through 9 or 4 through 8. Why, why does ASRM recommend that as first-line therapy? Because you don't get the side effects with letrozole that you get with Clomid. Clomid, as you know, is an anti-estrogen, and so it immediately throws women into a pseudomenopause, and what do they get? Vasomotor symptoms, headaches, hot flashes, night sweats. They feel awful, miserable. I had one patient threaten to kill me if I ever gave her that drug again. Trust me, I didn't give her the drug ever again. But you should use letrozole because you have none of those side effects and it's equally effective, just as safe. It's been number one in Europe and many other countries for many years. You use these drugs otherwise the same for your patients for ovulation induction. If you have a patient who has a male factor infertility or unexplained infertility, then ovulation induction with IUI is probably not a very good choice. How many cycles should you do this for? Most of the pregnancies that occur in an anovulatory or oligoovulatory patient that you place on letrozole will occur within the first one to three or four cycles. So if she doesn't get pregnant after that, time for a referral. Patients who are over 35 years of age, I would encourage you to refer them sooner, particularly if they're pushing 40, and definitely check their ovarian reserve. So tips for the practicing OBGYN from Dr. DiMattina at Dominion Fertility. I hope they help you, and if not, call me. Thank you.